there are plenty of warnings, but no matter how many signs they put up, the mullen monster takes its toll. This 12-foot train trestle spanning Mullen Road in Lacey is good at taking out trucks. It's got the scars to prove it. It's so adept at destruction, there are two places on Facebook dedicated to documenting the carnage. Amelia Martin started Mullen Road Train Trestle versus the world a few years ago. You can see who's winning. Um, I think the trestle's winning. Hosts praise the tough trestle and shame stock trucks. I think, honestly, a lot of people like to watch the destruction, and I think that we all think it's kind of a little silly because it's just, it's like four signs saying, hey, don't do this, we have flashing lights on them, and yet people are just like, that's not for me. The group has more than 9,000 members all over the world, from Lacey to Korea. But it's not the only one dedicated to this battered bridge. Brandon Sparks used to live near the trestle. Well, we used to drive under this bridge every single day, and uh, my kids and I would always joke that it's the monster and it likes to eat things. That joke led Brandon to build the Mullen Monster Facebook page. It keeps a running tally of the trucks the bridge eats. 12 in 2022. I've always had this idea in my head that it, uh, you know, had teeth and, you know, had a personality and all that. And, uh, decided to give it one and create the page and design the logo and give it a face and everything. He even designed a Mullen Monster sticker. Got the uh, peeled back box trucks as a symbol of its victims. The trestle has already claimed its first victim of 2023 with this squashed semi. Brandon and Amelia don't want to see anyone get hurt. But they also say that as long as the Mullen Monster continues to feed on folks who ignore the signs, they will keep track of those snacks on social media.